Yo, what's up everybody? Hobo Mackie here. Frying up some fish. That's probably plenty of oil. Right, so level it out a little bit. Um, and I think it's, uh, I just got me some noodles already cooked. And then I got my fish here, already breaded. I put a little uh, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and flour. All right, nice little sizzle. It's kind of hard to judge the heat <clears throat> when you're cooking on fire, so it's all pretty much, uh, you know, just guesstimating. I did get the noodles cooked. They, they just got done. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. Just, uh, it was a big fish. It was probably a two and a half, three pound bass. I did a horrible job of filleting it. Um, it's been a while since I filleted a fish. Um, but, you know, I got most of the meat off and the rest of it will go to the gators. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, fishing out there is relatively easy. It takes me maybe 30 minutes to catch a big one. But I seem to catch good size big bass I haven't even caught a small bass yet um, I hooked something else today I didn't reel them in but it was big it was a probably a good three pound four pound fish maybe five pound <clears throat> it didn't put up any kind of fight but then it got it got off the hook I just didn't have them hooked very well I've got a little bit of golden color there start flipping these I don't really have any utensils which makes everything more difficult this is largemouth bass a lot of people don't eat it but I think I'm just gonna um, throw them in with my pasta I got parmesan cheese and a little garlic powder and uh, just make me a little fish pasta and uh, see what happens I found these two rocks there's a big rock pile not too far away I just towed them over so I could cook on something you know I don't I'm just I'm not really trying to have a big fire just to, just to cook with I'm just trying to cook turned out to be a lot of work between uh, Catching the fish, I, had to, I caught them at midday, so it's, the fishing ain't, ain't quite as easy. Middle of the day, but uh, then I had to fillet them, and I filleted them right by the canal. And a little fucking snake, right on the rock that I'm filleting the fish on, he just pokes his head up, and like he's not even scared of me, and starts coming at me. I don't think it was poisonous. I don't know what it was. Um, then he kind of stared at me for a while, and eventually I chunked a rock at his head, and he went back under the rock, and then he'd come back out, and I'd chunk another rock, and he'd come back out. I saw a second snake today, I'm just walking, so it seems like I'm seeing a lot of snakes. Uh, but... Um, yeah, like, like I said, a lot of work. Flaying the fish all up. Well, part of it is I haven't flayed a fish in a long time. Um, so it's just practice. I need to practice that. I need to um, YouTube some videos on how to flay a fish, probably. Um, I think these are looking pretty good. Yeah, everything is guesstimating. Um, 
so I'm guesstimating when they're done. I don't think it, you need to cook a fish too much. So I think I'm gonna call that good. I'm not good at using chopsticks neither. Motherfucker. There we go. I still have a decent flame in there. Uh, I still got a lot more fish to cook up. This should be it though. Boom. And then I'll be done. That's still a lot of freaking meat and protein. Which I need it. I'm worn out. I've been, uh, Bicycling and hiking. Um, uh, you know, busy, 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 and I'm physically drained uh, at the moment. So this fish protein. Very, very good. Wow. <laughs> For totally guesstimating everything, I did fucking phenomenal. Wow. Cooked nicely. It's got a little garlic powder, salt, pepper, flour. Mmm. Honestly, it's better than any fried fish I've had I've got like um, food trucks and stuff man I did well oh and, and honestly I'm not that big on, in, on into fish like uh, normally I just eat beef or pork or chicken wow that was really fucking good surprised um, so, for the first time in a long time, and like I said, this ain't easy, cooking over a fire, uh, you know, everything's a guesstimation, you don't want to make the pan too hot, you know, you gotta, I don't have any utensils, so I'm literally just using sticks. Um, and so I'm making me a little fried fish pasta. So uh, got me Parmesan cheese as well, actually. So I'm gonna throw some Parmesan cheese. Oh, I put a little Parmesan cheese in the um, in the uh, batter. Mmm. I cooked that perfect. It's a thick piece too. So yeah, I put a garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little Parmesan cheese, and, and uh, with the, and with the uh, flour, and I put it in one of these bags, and then I, you know, I shook it all around to coat the fish all up. And uh, got the pan hot, threw some oil in it, and then just threw the fish in the oil. Uh, wow, that's a lot of good food there. Mm. 
That's a lot of fish. That's almost like too much. Actually, that's probably perfect. So I got that little bit. And I got that. I mean, that's just straight protein, too. It's, you got a little fat from the cooking oil. Probably some uh, good omega-3s. Fish is probably the, one of the best foods there is. Um, you know, it ain't, it ain't no hormones or... Uh, You know, stuff like that could be, uh, God knows, like mercury and stuff from the uh, pollution. But I think I'm put my oil back. Really, I shouldn't be uh, cooking right here by my camp, especially with all the black bears around here. And now I got all these smells like garlic and pepper and fish and everything. So. Uh, not ideal, but I guess I'm kind of relying on the bears to uh, leave me alone. Put a little garlic powder into my pasta. Um, go ahead and throw some cheese in there. All right, a lot of cheese. Maybe even more. Okay. Alright. Garlic powdered cheese. And then I'm just going to dump the rest of that fish and the oil right in it. And that'll give me a little oil. And then that'll be my nice little fried fish pasta dinner. I'll have to give me some chopsticks. I get uh, distracted. I definitely want to make sure it's cooked. This looks like a really clean bass, really healthy. I've seen bass before where you fillet it and it's got like worms and shit in it. Um, and that was like in Oregon. Uh, but yeah, you always gotta inspect your kill, make sure it's nothing's wrong with it. Although, you know, you can get seriously fucked up. I've heard stories of people eating raw salmon that had worms in it, and they're in the, and then they're in the hospital for like six months. It can be fucking bad. So. I like to make sure my shit's cooked. If anything, it's, I like to do it on the the more done side. So, all right. I don't really have anything else to say. Beautiful day, I guess. Still here at the same camp spot site. Uh, I've been sleeping great. Um, kind of thought about going up into these woods here and I'd have to like get a machete or something and clear out a spot and I'd be more hidden but who knows I probably won't do it alright thanks a lot everybody peace